Now, do you remember what your favourite nursery rhyme was as a child? Well, we're going to stick with the theme of nostalgia because a book of traditional Scottish nursery rhymes put together by a Kelso writer has been nominated for a Scots Language Award. Alastair Hutton, a former MEP and convener of Scottish Borders Council, uncovered some rhymes dating back to the 16th and 17th century. He says it's important that the Scots language is preserved, celebrated and also enjoyed by the next generation. Clement Neil has more. There was a man lived in the moon, lived in the moon, lived in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. And his hat was made of good cream cheese, of good cream cheese, of good cream cheese. It might have fallen into obscurity, but this rhyme has been a favourite among Scottish children for centuries. I suppose the one that sticks in my mind more than any other is Aiken Drum which was a, a funny kind of rhyme because, of course, I grew up during the Second World War when everything was rationed. And here was this character whose sort of clothes were made up of bits of, of, of food which seemed pretty exotic at the time. And his coat was made of good roast beef and his name was Aiken Drum. And, and Alistair Hutton is bringing it and others to new audiences. The Kelso writer has compiled a book of more than 100 nursery rhymes written in traditional Scots from as far back as the 16th century. And it's a project he said has taken them down memory lane. It wasn't that easy because there, there were not that many books of old Scottish nursery rhymes available. I also knew a lot of nursery rhymes or fragments of nursery rhymes that I had been taught as a child. You know, the things you learn as an infant somehow stick in the mind. Um, so some of the stuff came out of my head, out of the memory of childhood, and some of it came out of old books that I managed to dig up and find and buy. Alistair feels it's vital that the Scots language is kept alive. It would be, to my mind, it would be tragic if this language was to disappear. Um, and my worry, really, when I was compiling the, the book of nursery rhymes was that it was already, it, it had already, quite a lot of it had already disappeared and was disappearing. So to be able to revive a bit of it, I thought would be quite helpful. If, if children are injected with uh, Scots language, Scots words, Scots syntax, um, from the earliest years, it'll be natural to them and it should last with them all their lives. The compilation has been nominated for Scots Bairns Book of the Year at the Scots Language Awards to be held in September and it's hoped these much-loved lullabies will help preserve a traditional tongue and entertain wee ones for years to come. Claire McNeil, ITV News, Kelso. Great, isn't it? It brought back some memories for you. You remembered one of those nursery rhymes? Yeah, you can yeah. Drum, I remember that, yeah. yeah. That made of cream cheese. Oh, it's quite that's nice. Great, isn't it? Humpty Dumpty and all the rest of them. Yeah, a real trip down memory lane. <laughs> Had a great fall. It's time for some rugby and some football. It's time for the sport. <laughs>